Yes, Your Majesty. Whatever you desire, Your Highness. In the old days, when kings and queens had real power, whatever they wanted, they got. Well, that ended a long time ago, but some county commissioners apparently forgot that. Like kings and queens of old, they are determined to do what they want, even though the voters have loudly told them no. Tim Maestas is on special assignment. It's an issue that has some citizens fired up. We're going to get to the bottom of this corruption in Valencia County, and we are going to serve the citizens of Valencia County. Is that a threat, Mr. DeBuck? It's not a threat. It's a promise. You wait. So what is all the tension about how to fix a county building? No one disagrees. This building has some problems from the top floor to the basement. Water damage, cracks in walls, and leaks. We'll have somebody come down and open the doors every morning just to vent it out. Take a look. Even the elevator needs some work. Uh, water damage, the corrosion along the base here. Valencia County Manager Eric Zamora took us on a tour. He says just fixing the roof will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Replacing the entire building will cost millions more. But that's what some members of the Valencia County Commission are pushing for. We really need a new administrative building, and we need to figure out a way how to pay for it. County commissioners have already requested an $8 million loan to build a new building here. The problem is, Valencia County voters said no to $6 million for a new building less than a year ago. And it is true. We did put that on the ballot. We asked for a um, um, gross receipt increase. It was a landslide decision. Almost 80% of Valencia County voters said no to the funding question in the November 2010 election. And that's what they voted against, is to increase the gross receipts tax to pay for the building. That's what they voted down. But so we sought an, a, a different method, which would be to borrow the money. Valencia County residents say that is splitting hairs, and no means no. That did not deter the county commission, though. Less than six months after voters said no, all five county commissioners voted to submit this loan application to the state finance authority. Now, at least one county commissioner is having second thoughts. Is it fair to the voters to go ahead and move forward with building a new administrative building? I think it's sort of flying in the face of what our voters have told us. The $8 million loan with interest would take taxpayers 28 years to pay off. Commissioner Ron Gentry says one year of payments on the loan would cover a lot of remodeling. It's one of those things that you look at. Yes, a new car would be great, but under the present economic times, should I just fix my car, my used car, use it for another three years and trade it in? That's probably the better philosophy. This new administrative building, I don't think it's needed. I, I think there's other ways that we can solve this problem. Ralph DeBaca is behind a push to stop county commissioners from moving forward. I believe the corruption in Valencia County, and, and uh, we have to get to the bottom of this and, and stop this. Tim Maestas, KRQE News 13. The Valencia County DA currently rents space in a privately owned building for more than $150,000 a year. Now, supporters of that new county building say if the DA moves over there, the money that would have gone to the rent could help to cover the loan payments. County commissioners have not signed off on the loan just yet.